guys, it's Mel with South Florida Ford and I'm here at the 2015 Tortuga Music Festival. The Tortuga Music Festival is a multi-day, multi-stage event featuring some of the biggest names in country, rock, and grassroots music. It's held on the white sands of Fort Lauderdale Beach and its aim is to raise awareness for marine conservation. The Tortuga Fest is in full swing behind me and thousands of people come here every year. But we wanted to meet the people in the water and on the sand who spend countless hours doing the real conservation work. We met up with Dr. Guy Harvey at the renaming for the Nova Oceanographic Center to learn what it's been like to dedicate his life to conservation and raising awareness. Today we had a ceremony to commemorate the, uh, the support that I've given over the last 16 years to the Oceanographic Center in the form of naming rights. Part of our mission, of course, is to get the word out about the work that we're doing and to communicate the results in the form of uh, needs for conservation. The, the marine environment, in particular the coastal environment, is, is our common property, uh, but it's also our collective responsibility to look after it. There are many good reasons for enacting good conservation practices, one of which, of course, is to ensure the sustainability of what we do for future generations. I knew I wanted to become a marine scientist from very early on. At the same time, the art was evolving, and I was, I was very keen to portray the animals with which I interacted. That's why it's so important to convey the stories of nature whether it's above or below the surface, and get people interacting with nature without being exploitive. The Broward County Sea Turtle Conservation Program helps with the conservation of endangered sea turtle species in the Broward County area. By monitoring nests and creating public awareness, this program helps protect these amazing creatures. Curtis Slagle took us along the Broward County coastline to show us more about these fragile creatures and how they're so important to our ecosystem. We come out here rain or shine, hot or cold, every day throughout the season. And it's just exciting to actually be able to um, work with an endangered species and you know think that we're making a difference. There are a lot of factors that affect sea turtles. Unfortunately most of them are a result of, of us, of humans, lack of beach due to coastal construction, pollution. So this is a green stranded sea turtle um, that we found on our primary survey. I'm just taking down um, some basic information, the measurements, and then writing down any sort of injuries um, or anything that I see that could possibly be wrong with the turtle. She's pretty active, actually. An important reason to uh, care about sea turtles is that they've been around, they, pre they actually predate the dinosaurs, their ancestors. It's important that we continue their species on for generations to come. Sea turtles serve a pretty important, important role in the marine ecosystem. This is our first nest of the 2015 season. This is a leatherback nest. They are early nesters. This job is a lot of work, we're not gonna lie. There are some days where we go home and we are exhausted, maybe even feel like crying a little bit, but it's all worth it for the sea turtles. They are endangered, so every little bit that we do makes us feel very, very re rewarded for the type of work that we do. Good luck, little guy. <laughs> The world's marine fish population is experiencing an unprecedented threat due to pollution, overexploitation, and habitat loss. For more on this, we joined Dr. Derek Burkholder from Nova Southeastern University on a shark tagging expedition. Give it a toss. <laughs> All right, we're clear. We know that, that many sharks around the world sort of fit the apex predator rule. They're very important in the areas where they live because they help to balance the ecosystems. Many species are endangered and even critically endangered around the world right now. So our research is focused on sort of the conservation efforts and conservation questions, trying to learn more about the biology of these animals to hopefully be able to keep them around for a little bit longer. A recent study estimated that there's over 100 million sharks being killed annually around the world. 
Uh, those kinds of numbers are staggering. As a consumer, one of the biggest things that, that you can do to help support shark conservation is to be mindful of what you're buying. Many makeups and even lotions and things like that have shark uh, cartilage and oils in them. Uh, this stuff is, is, is extremely detrimental to our shark populations around the world. Right here we've got a lemon shark. Uh, these guys we do get quite often here in South Florida. I've always had a love for, for the ocean, the outdoors. Um, I was very, very fortunate in my undergraduate career uh, at Albion College that I had a professor that just happened to work on nurse sharks down in the Florida Keys. And so that was sort of where I, I got my foot in the door with, with pursuing that love of, of the ocean and of marine science. One of the coolest things about these kind of trips is to have somebody that maybe has never even been on a boat before get out here who is maybe terrified of sharks when they got on the boat to see one and by the end of the day um, they've sort of jumped over and they're there now educating others about sharks and about the importance of sharks in our ecosystems. Turn around and send her on her way. All right, great job everybody. The Rock the Ocean concert has become a real huge event here in Fort Lauderdale and for South Florida, attracting people from all over the state and beyond. It really provides a great platform for people to learn and educate themselves about the issues and the things that are going on right here in their backyard. And we're getting people's attention, and that's the key thing. We're getting people involved. That's it for this episode of Powered by South Florida Ford here at the Tortuga Music Festival. For more information on how you can help with the conservation efforts, just visit the links below. As always, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time.